Today we will be going over how to set up your Dell dock. This model is the WD19TBS, but if you've purchased a Dell dock within the last few years, it should be pretty similar to this one. In the box you will find the dock itself, a power adapter, and a wall cable. The power adapter will connect to the back of the dock, and the wall cable will connect to the power adapter, and then your wall plug. When connecting your Dell monitor, you will most likely have three cables to connect. A display port or HDMI cable, a USB connection, and a power cable. The display port cable will look like the cable on the left, and the HDMI cable should be labeled, but if not, it will look like the cable on the right. Looking at the back of the dock, there are two display port connections, one HDMI connection, and one USB-C display connection. Since our monitor has a display port cable, I will match it up to the appropriate port on the dock like this. An important note to keep in mind is that you always want the symbol on the cable to be facing upwards. I will do the same with the USB cable coming from the monitor, ensuring the USB symbol is facing up and connected to the USB port on the dock. An important tip, these cables should fit in with minimal effort, but if that's not the case, just check your cable and the port to make sure it's facing the right direction. Now I have the USB connections for the mouse and keyboard. There are enough USB ports on the dock to connect your mouse and keyboard, however, I'm going to utilize one of the USB ports on the back of the monitor to free up a port on my dock. I will ensure the USB symbol is facing me, and then gently insert it into the USB port on the back of the monitor. Next, I'll connect the remaining keyboard USB to the back of the dock, making sure the USB symbol is facing up. Last but not least, if you have a wired Ethernet cable available, connect your Ethernet cable to the corresponding port on the back of the dock. Now, the placement of your dock will be dependent on what works best for your surroundings. In my case, I like to run the USB-C cable from the dock behind my monitor to use up some of that slack. If you are powering up your monitor for the first time, you may need to select the default language. Make sure your laptop is open when connecting it to the dock for the first time. It may take a moment before your laptop recognizes the dock along with the display, mouse, keyboard, and any other connected devices. You may need to navigate to your laptop's display settings to adjust the arrangement. Currently, mine is acting as an extended display, however, I prefer to have the display mirrored so that I can keep my laptop closed when I work. To do so on macOS, I will check the Mirror Displays box here, close my laptop lid, and now I'm all set. Similarly on Windows, I will right click the desktop and select display settings. Currently it is also using the monitor as an extended display, however I will select duplicate these displays so that I can use my dock with my laptop closed. On Windows you may need to press the power button on the right side of the dock to wake up the laptop and log in again. After doing so, I am all set to start using my laptop and dock setup. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe for more useful tutorials like this one.